Another element to the technology perspective, kind of the technology level of thinking about governance, is what can actually be done in technology itself. Um, and so one example of this that is often used is, is the question of if an AI is making a decision, I want to know how it made that decision, and the label that we give this is explainability or interpretability or sometimes transparency. Um, and that really is a question of how do I know what the AI is, is really doing? Now, can you solve this in a technical way or can you not? I think this is where R&D is at, at the state of affairs that we are in right now. This is where research and development is really important. Because we've clearly as a, as a world have identified this is an important issue that at the moment does not have an easy technology, technical solution, meaning that we can't figure out a way to write an algorithm that um, can tell us exactly what's happening inside the AI system. However, we are investing at the national level in research and development to help us do better in this with a technical solution. And so um, DARPA, for instance, is investing in explainable AI, and I'm confident that they will make some advancements that will help us come out up with technical solutions that can sort of build in some explainability into these systems so that now it makes it easier. You don't have to look so much at the human process, even though you, that's an important piece of it. Um, some of these kinds of challenges can be um, addressed with a technical solution. Bias is another area where there can be some technical tools. And so I think we want to make, make, I think it's in some sense easier, perhaps if you can solve a problem technically, um, that way you don't have to deal with so much human behavior. Uh, 